Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to the second part of this um, video where we are basically going through how to uh, set up a existing WordPress website um, in a local Docker um, environment. Uh, it's fairly simple and fairly straightforward um, and it does build off what we did in um, part one. Um, however, if you did follow what I did in part one, um, I'd recommend that you go and clear out your database and WordPress um, folders just because um, they do act as sort of like a cache um, and they don't really get updated um, with the with the new changes um, that we'll be doing in this this one um, so all we really need to do is first we need to basically tell our database that um, we have a a SQL file from from our live site that we that we exported um, and we want to say to the um, the container that we want you to build the database um, based off this SQL file um, so to do that all we have to do is provide another volume um, I'll copy and paste this um, uh, and that volume will be uh, this right here um, so basically it provides um, an entry point uh, for the container um, and basically what happens is it reads any SQL file, file that's inside that schema directory um, it will create and create a database based on it um, we'll also have to create a, a new folder here um, just called schema um, and that's pretty much for the, for the configuration side of things um, that's, that's really all you have to do um, now we obviously want to bring across our um, exported content. So one is our um, database. So go ahead and copy that into our oops, into our schema. Uh, there we go. You can see all the, um, the SQL there. Um, and the next thing will be our um, WordPress files. Some people might bring across the whole um, WordPress um, install. Um, you can run into issues with the WP config file, so I usually recommend just doing the um, WP content folder. But sometimes some um, sites, depending on how custom they are, they'll actually have files outside of WP con uh, content folder. Um, just really depends on the situation. So I guess it's good to understand how the the current website runs. Um, so I'll go and extract that. All right, so now we got our folder. I'll go ahead and copy that into our, our WordPress um, directory. Um, there we go. Um, so basically, that's just going to have all our themes, um, our, our plugins, and any uploads. Um, now, depending on the the type of um, use case you have for this local environment, you might not bring across uploads because some web uh, websites just have so much. Um, data that you wouldn't be um, reasonable to um, you know push that to a repo um, however if you do find yourself in that situation um, you can git ignore all the contents of the uploads folder so it's not actually pushed to the repo but you do have it for local development um, there, there's a few ways you can get around it but um, yeah just be mindful of that I guess so um, now we can pretty much go and run our containers um, you can see here, got no containers and no volumes. Um, we do have our two images that we need. Um, and let's um, docker up these containers. All right, so I think we should be good to um, access our, contain our um, WordPress website. Um, and you can see that all these files um, have been copied across. Um, this is what we added before. Um, so free content um, theme um, and our plugins so if we go to um, load host port 80 or 8080 sorry um, we should now be able to see uh, last time we we were presented with the um, the, the new installation of WordPress um, however this time we should be presented with as long as everything has gone well uh, we, we should be presented with um, the home page of our imported site and there we go um, so this is a um, 
I, I guess a, a demo um, WordPress website that I set up um, before um, and as you can see it's brought along all the products um, for the basic WooCommerce store um, and you can uh, if we duplicate this tab um, be able to log into it just like you would with any normal store. Um, and you've got a, a perfectly running uh, WordPress website um, to uh, develop in. Um, and that, that's essentially it. Um, there's nothing, depending on the actual WordPress website and how old it is, um, these configurations might not work, especially because the WordPress image is based off the latest WordPress version and all its dependencies, such as uh, like PHP 7.4. Um, some WordPress websites um, still require um, PHP 5.6, um, whether that's because um, it's a really old theme or maybe they have the really old um, plugins that are no longer supported. Um, I'll, I'll be bringing out a, um, another kind of series to this where I go through building a custom um, kind of PHP, uh, yeah, PHP and Docker kind of environment so that there's a little bit more configuration around PHP versions and PHP extensions, um, just kind of diving into it a little bit deeper um, and maybe even just showing you how to set this up for, um, you know, running it within an organization, how, how an organization might set up their repos. Um, and deploy changes, um, but for this for this um, episode or video, um, that's pretty much it. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, I guess I'll see you in the next one.